Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about a concept called operating leverage and take an example of a hotels company to try and understand uh, how it plays in real life. Before we go there, let's first understand what the concept is. What do you mean by operating leverage, right? So this is derived from a term called leverage or lever and applies in the context of this idea that when you change sales of a company by a small amount, the profit of that company could change by a bigger amount, right? Either direction. When sales goes up, profit goes up more in percentage terms than the sales going up. When sales goes down, profit goes down more in percentage terms as a proportion of the sales, right? So why does that happen? So to understand that concept, we'll have to kind of bring in the context of fixed cost into the business, right? So what is fixed cost? Fixed cost is a cost that is fixed for a particular business for a particular given capacity. Right? Regardless of whether you're producing one unit or 100 units up to a given capacity, basically, the cost remains fixed for that. Right? So there are various examples of that. For example, let's say rent of a building is like a fixed cost. You know, uh, Finance cost is a fixed cost. Uh, various kinds of fixed costs can apply in real life. So let's take the example of two companies. Let's say we take a company A and we take a company B. And we say sales of company A is 1000 and that of company B is also 1000. Right? And then we say, okay, we have fixed costs and we have variable cost. What is variable cost? When you produce, let's say, a unit of a particular product, the cost that goes only in the production of that particular unit is variable cost, correct? So let's assume for company A, the fixed cost is 600 and the variable cost is 200. For company B, it's the other way around, right? Here, pe fixed cost is 200 and variable cost is 600. So we're just sort of trying and understanding the play around these two companies. Now, let's assume, you know, based on that, we'll get a profit number for both the companies. So let's say we call that as operating profit. Operating profit for the company one is 200. Company two is also 200, right? Now, assume that what happens is the sales of the company changes by 20%. And we say sales volume changes by 20%, right? So let's say that we are saying volume goes up by 20%. Whatever they were selling, let's say they were selling 1000 units for 1000 rupees for 1 rupee each. So, uh, you know, now they're selling 1200 units. So their sales will become 1200 in both the cases, right? So we'll see sales become 1200 in both the cases. Now, when sales becomes 1200 in both the cases, there are some changes that will happen because volume has gone up. Variable cost will move up by 20% as well, right? So variable cost in the first case goes to 240. In the second case goes to 720. 20% change. Fixed cost remains fixed. So that's the nature of the cost, right? It will remain fixed for a particular capacity of the company, regardless of the level of capacity utilization, right? So this remains 200, this remains 600. 600 for company A, 200 for company B. Now look at what happens to the profit of company B. You'll see if you subtract and you arrive, you'll arrive at a number of 280. So let's first understand the context of operating leverage, right? The sales changed by 20%, the operating profit changed by 40%. So the change in profit is more than the change in sales and that's the concept of leverage. There is a magnification in the profit growth that has happened when sales has gone up, correct? Now check out company A, same change in sales, 20%. But if you calculate the profitability number, this number is 360. Right, because fixed cost is a larger component. Same change in sales brings 80% change in profits. So we learn two things here. One, basically that when you change sales by a certain percentage, profits go up more than that because some, some cost in every company will be fixed cost. And in companies where fixed cost is a larger component, wherever fixed cost is a larger component of overall cost, the degree of change will be even larger. There will be more volatility. Where the fixed cost is bigger in any company, there your volatility will be higher, your profit change will be higher. Achha, this is a double-edged sword. So if the sales goes down by 20%, goes to 800 in the first case, fixed cost remains 600, variable cost will go down by 20%, so that will become 160. Operating profit will go to 40. That's a dip of 80% as well it'll be 40% in the second company's case if the sales goes down by 20%, right? So it's a double-edged sword when sales goes up because all costs do not go up in the same proportion. Some of them are fixed in nature. 
what happens is it allows the company to show higher degree of profitability. A company with higher fixed cost will have a higher degree of operating leverage. There are ways you can calculate it. There's a formula for degree of operating leverage, which is change in operating profit divided by change in sales. But, you know, leave aside the formula. The concept is more important. What we need to understand is there are businesses where some costs are fixed. When there is a higher proportion of fixed costs, there'll be a bigger magnification of earnings when you see a change in sales, right? Now, let's take a practical example around it. Let's look at uh, let's look at this company called Indian Hotels. Largest hotel chain in India, Taj Hotels is what they sort of manage. And, you know, if you look at Tata Group company, so you will look at their numbers. Now, pay specific attention to two years. I'm going to focus on 2019. So look at the sales, that's 4,500 crore. Look at the operating profit, EBITDA, which is about 830 crore. Margin is 18%. And your net profit is 296. And now bring your attention towards the last financial year, which is there. And you'd see that your sales number has gone up to 6,700 crores. So there's roughly about a you know 50% jump odd in sales that has happened. But your operating profit has more than doubled, right? Your operating profit change is almost like 150, 160%. Your net profit has almost quadrupled. It's gone up four times. More than that, actually, right? So almost a 300% jump in uh, in uh, net profit. So for a 50% jump in sales, your operating profit has actually gone up by 150%, right? Approximately, just broadly using the number there. And this just tells you, you know, what happened is pre-corona for almost a decade, this industry was not doing well. There wasn't too much sort of capacity utilization that was happening. Post-corona, a bunch of things happened. I think behaviorally, People wanted to go out more, uh, you know, because they were kind of stuck in their homes for a year, year and a half. Uh, people had more savings because they were not really going out. There was a slightly higher disposable income that people had. Their earnings had gone up during that period. And there was a general wealth effect around you. You know, a lot of, lot of uh, uh, your investments had also gone up. So basically all that led to a spike in capacity utilization, a spike in realizations. Not only did number of rooms that were occupied in a hotel go up, also, your pricing per room kind of went up. And those two things resulted in your EBITDA margin going from 18% to 32%, obviously, because see, think for a hotel, the, the cost is largely fixed. Whether there are 100 guests in a hotel or 500 guests in a hotel, the cost is more or less the same, right? There'll be a very minimal amount of variable cost, which would be, let's say, some uh, consumption of some items that are there in the room or basically, you know, some electricity or water consumption that is there. But predominantly, most of the other cost is actually fixed in nature. So when a room gets occupied, when more rooms get occupied because the utilization has gone up in the tourism sector, that would mean that almost all the revenue that is booked goes directly to the bottom line or the profits, right? And that's what has happened for, played out for these companies uh, in the recent past. Now, make no mistake, this is, uh, as I said, a double-edged sword. So when things go to downwards, when you, things turn the other way around, a small change in utilization will again hit the profitability on the other side as well. But for now, things seem to be good. And that's a classic example of how operating leverage is at work in this particular industry. That's it in this particular video. If you have any suggestions for us for, uh, you, know, sub, you know, subsequent topics that we should kind of make videos on, please put that in the comment section. If you thought the video was useful, you like the concept, please like the video. Thank you.